בעלי תשובה, או תלמידי חכמים, real תלמידי חכמים, that their sons aren't תלמידי חכמים, they're falling from the path, they're not going in the ways of the fathers. Why? רבנו is saying, מפני שלא ברכו בתורה תחילה. This is what it is written in the Gemara, מפני שלא ברכו בתורה תחילה. Because they didn't say the ברכה, of the Torah in the beginning. So by Pshat you understand that they weren't saying the bracha that we're saying in Aliyat HaTorah. When you're reading the, the, the Torah Kedusha, you should make a bracha in the beginning and the bracha after it. So by Pshat you understand that they didn't make the bracha. It's very hard to say. Everyone is saying the bracha when they're reading the Torah Kedusha, when they're reading the, the Aliyat HaTorah. So what really is the meaning? שצריך כל אדם, רבנו אקספליינס, שצריך כל אדם, that everyone have to, ובפרט תלמיד חכם, and even more so, לתלמיד חכם, לברך ולהאיר בלימוד תורתו בשורש הנשמות. When you're learning Torah, you need to think about the beginning, you need to bless the beginning, like we said, that הקדוש ברוך הוא created this world for, for עם ישראל. that Am Yisrael created the Machshava Tehila. We are the beginning of creation. Kadosh Baruch Hu thought about us and wanted to create things for us, for his thought, for us, that we were in his mind. So he decided to create this world, to give the Torah Kedusha, Bechulei, all of the things, the details that we have here in creation, it's only because the beginning was Am Yisrael. And if we're learning Torah, we're teaching because we're learning because we want to teach, because we want to give, to pass over that knowledge, that wisdom. So by that, we're sending, we're waking up, we're shaking the roots of the souls of Am Israel. Like we learned that Am Israel have 600,000 thousand. Thousand. Yes, it's hard. Cheesy. 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 For you. Thousand. You can come again to your teeth and you can say any word with the TH. Thousand. See how he speaks? Yes. So. So. A cat, he's got nine souls. I need to have nine tongues. So, Am Israel, there is 600,000 of souls, like the letters of the Torah Kedusha. That there is 600,000 letters in the Torah Kedusha. So, every Jewish person, every Ish Israel, have one letter that it's his root, that from there he is coming from heaven, from the source in, in, in heaven. So when we're learning the Torah in the right order, with the right meaning, so we're shaking those roots, and the Neshamot are waking up, the Nishmot Israel are waking up. We're using, removing those letters here, and the souls are waking up in heaven, and then they're illuminated in heaven, and the light is coming back to those people that for now they're, they're in darkness. They don't know Hashem in Barach, but suddenly, like all of us, Baal Tshuva, one day you start feeling that you're waking up, that you have a will to go to Bet Knesset, to see from people, to wear tzitzit, to look at someone with tefillin, you say, wow, amazing, they're wearing something, it's a tefillin, what's that? And you, you're waking up suddenly, well, how can it be? Arab Shalom, in this Shabbat, in this Saturday, he said, with the level of the generation, with desire for women, there is no way that the person, that uh, people that have desire for women in that level of this generation, that they're making mitzvot, that they're learning Torah. There's no way, no chance people like those can learn Torah Kedusha. No way. So, only because of the tzaddikim, we have the privilege to learn Torah Kedusha. Because the, the tzaddikim are learning Torah like they should, and they're davening on us, so they're moving all of those branches, all of those roots, and then the light is coming to us, even that we're not worthy to learn Torah at all. And then we start to waking up, and we're waking up, and we have will, we want to do tshuva, we want to, to learn Torah, to make brachot, to, to... It's amazing, it's a miracle that is, it is uh, actually happening to us. Because when a person is making a mitzvah, 
So schar mitzvah mitzvah. So his gain gonna be that he gonna make the next mitzvah. But schar avera avera. But if a person is sinning, his gain is that he gonna sin again. So person, people like us that we were sinning all of our life. So the gain supposed to be that chas shalom people gonna continue of sinning, but it changed. Why it changed? Because there is tzaddikim that are davening on us and are learning in the Shem Shamayim, they're learning because they want to teach, and they're shaking those roots, those branches, and we're waking up, the light is coming down to us, and we're waking up. So, the reason that the kids of those Talmidei Chachamim, that they are not become Talmidei Chachamim also, is only because they're not waking up at the beginning. While they're learning, they're not learning al menat lelamed because they want to teach. Rabbi is going to explain that. Hainu b'machshavat chila that they should leverech to bless ulehair and to illuminate belimud torato while they're learning Torah. B'shoresh haneshamot in the source of the souls. Hainu b'machshavat chila. It means in the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave the Torah because he wanted to create Am Yisrael, because he, wanted to, because he loved Am Yisrael. He wanted to have mercy on Am Yisrael, so he created everything. Now that you're learning, you're not bonding to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You're not, doing, you're not learning from the same meaning like HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He done everything for Am Yisrael. So now you're learning Torah. Why are you learning? You need to learn for Am Yisrael. You need to learn to have the power to teach. To have the ability to teach. This is why we're learning. Kisham Shoshenu, because over there, this is our roots. Nimza, we understand from that. Keshemevihe ara uvracha letoch tchilata machshava. That when a person is illuminated, the light is bringing the bless. Letoch tchilata machshava, to the beginning of the thoughts of Akadosh Baruchu. It means to Am Israel. It means that he is learning because he wants to teach. Nilmod ule lamed. Al yado, by that limud, mit notzetzin u mit barchin haneshamot. All of the souls are illuminated, become having light, they become happy, they have good will to do tshuva. Nimza. So by that, nimza, the result is, keshem amshich neshama livno, that when he is bringing, pulling the soul to his son, to his tzetzaim, בוודאי הוא ממשיך נשמה בהירה וזכה. For sure he gonna bring a, a, a illuminated soul, נשמה, clear soul, נשמה, his son gonna be a tzaddik, gonna have good will, gonna have good nature to do only mitzvot. It's all depend in the father. אבל, but, כשאין מאיר הוא מברך את התחילה על ידי לימודו, when the person is learning but he is not blessing, he is not illuminated the beginning by his limud, the neshamot, the souls, as keshem amshich neshama levno, so then when he is pulling, drinking the soul to his son, a neshamai bivchinat, the soul is in an aspect of the verse, ani yeshena, I'm asleep. Oh, the kids are lazy, they don't have strong will, they like to eat, to drink. Because the father was sleeping also, he's still sleeping. This is why his sons are sleeping. He doesn't have a strong will, he doesn't have Kedusha in him. So the kids are lazy also, they want to eat also, to drink also. And Yeshena? Ve'ena me'ira, and she's not, the soul is not illuminated. Mipnezeh, this is why lo yeb no talmid chacham. His son won't be a talmid chacham. Ve'ze mipneh, and it's because שלא ברכו בתורה תחילה, that they didn't give the bless into the beginning, what it means, they didn't learn because they wanted to teach. היינו שורש הנשמות, בבחינת, the source of the souls, בבחינת ישראל עלה במחשבה תחילה. בתם ישראל, we were in the beginning of the thoughts of הקדוש ברוך הוא, it was the first thought, it's the first thing that הקדוש ברוך הוא thought before he decide to create the world, world is Am Yisrael.